Cal, you have three interceptions in your career. You sealed the win against Stanford with an interception. You right. sealed the bowl win with an interception. But the one against Indiana, the one-handed interception with a club on the other hand is, yeah. I think, the one that everyone remembers. Honestly, how many times have you watched that back? Um, I'd say probably under under 10, under 10, to be under honest. 10. Yeah. Really? Outside of that day, of course. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, that day counts. How many times you watched that day? <laughs> that day, maybe, maybe a thousand. It was sent to me so many times. Man, I am good. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's, it's good to just keep confidence up. Um, and everybody on that day got to see what I could do and what our defense as a whole is capable of, um, holding one of the Big Ten's best passing teams. I think they were number one at the time. It's only 12 points. That was a good day for us. And... Um, just moving forward, hoping to make good plays like that as a team and mostly as a secondary. Safety Kyle Cairo, have a great year. I appreciate it. Thanks a lot for your time. As the Wildcats returned that evening, they were met by senior cornerback Keith Watkins II, who spent the previous year working his way back to the field after an injured knee cost him his 2016 season. His other knee will cost him all of 2017. When we got off the bus and got a chance to see him, um, he let us know the news and it was devastating. Um, I, to the point where I had to just turn around and I couldn't even look at him because I knew it was just, it was just a really unfortunate circumstance. Um, but out of that moment came um, some positive. We, we took the time to just, as brothers, uh, just pray, pray for Keith, pray for one another as, you know, we're all part of Sky Team and all take different roles within it. But, you know, now with Keith, uh, unfortunately, going to have to battle injury again to come back, uh, we're going to need someone else to step up. And Northwestern's tired defensively again. Missed tackles. Clean pocket. But it's picked. Intercepted right around the goal line by Kyle Cairo, the senior. And you want your seniors to come up with big plays, especially an experienced senior like Kyle Cairo. He did a nice job of baiting Ganji. He and, and baited back and made a nice play. Nice, nice job by uh, Cairo, Renet quarterback. The final there as the Cats get the victory. I guess weathering the storm early. We weren't expecting them to uh, run the ball as much as they did. Um, and once we got into the locker room, gathered ourselves, composed ourselves, uh, came up with a different game plan a little bit. Uh, also utilized some different calls that we had worked during camp. And we were able to, you know, I guess just change the pace of the game. On the fake handoff, throw up top, the ball is tipped, and it's taken away. There is a flag on the play. Northwestern has possession on the interception. We have to talk about the potential ramifications of an ejection here as well for Northwestern, because we mentioned they're short. One second. The ruling on the field is confirmed. Targeting defense number 41 is disqualified. So they lose a junior. The two cornerbacks who we mentioned who are out, Marcus McShepard, an upper body injury. He didn't travel. Brian Bullock with a lower body injury, out. So that put Kyle Cairo, a normal starting safety, in at quarterback. Jared McGee got bumped up to start at safety. He's been ejected from the game now. So this secondary for Northwestern is exceptionally depleted. Yes, they're going to be, and this is an opportunity for Duke to attack in the secondary, not only in the middle of the field, but in the red zone. Brown comes out of the backfield. Jones takes off to the left side, across the goal line. Touchdown for Duke as Daniel Jones scrambles and scores from the 11. Another first down. Offensive line holds up well, going up top, wide open. A touchdown for Duke. Jones takes it with lead blockers to the left side. Can he power his way through? He's there! Touchdown! Go over that responsibility, even though that wasn't what he was expecting to do. Now Duke coughs it up, and Northwestern falls on top of it there at the 46-yard line. Bumble recovered by Patty Fisher. 
Jackson is the back with Thorson. He's right up the middle and standing into the end zone. Touchdown, Northwestern. So, over on the guy next to you right now. This is the guy that you've been working with. This is the guy that you've been working with. The guy that's been getting you better. I know you're not going to let that guy next to you down. So, right now, 30 minutes, the guy next to you. Yeah. The guy next to you. Yeah. Yeah.